What are mountain gorillas? They are the only species that share 98% of our same DNA. Gorillas being 4 to 6 feet standing up and also weighing 330 to 440 pounds. They have these long teeth and jaws and shorter arms and their long black fur that keeps them warm below freezing temperatures. Their diet is roots, shoots, fruit, wild celery, and lastly tree bark, living for about 35 years in a single lifespan. But most importantly, they are endangered. The mountain gorillas are confined to mountainous forests in different countries in Africa. While gorillas are adaptive, moving to higher elevations to battle warmer temperatures, those areas are densely populated with very little forest remaining. Climate change poses a threat due to their forest homes. Despite the altitude, these areas are covered in lush baboon and mountain forests. Mountain forests are high altitude forests that have low canopy cover and contain many species. Habitat loss is the primary threat to mountain gorillas. It comes from the forest clearance and degradation as the region's growing human population struggles to seek out space to live in. Conversions of land for agriculture and com competition for limited natural resources lead to varying degrees of deforestation. Humans are moving more and more into the mountains where the gorillas territory is. People are pushing them further up into the mountains for long periods of time, forcing them to enter dangerous and sometimes deadly conditions. However, other equally important immediate dangers of wild gorilla populations are due to poaching, infectious disease, and loss of fragmentation of their habitat. How can you help? Gorilla conservation programs not only work to protect gorillas themselves, but also help to protect thousands of other species of animals and plants that are found in gorilla habitat. What we can do is contribute to the multiple funds that help the endangered mountain gorillas and help by fi finding safer environments or improve on poaching laws and enforce them more. Donate to certain organizations such as the Royal Organization and African Wildlife Foundation to help more.